Okay, what we're trying to do in the next 10 minutes is recap three mandatory experiments in junior search science. Quite often these experiments are done in different classes, so they take a long time. Well, I've put a lot of effort here and a lot of organization into doing the three of them in one 40 minute class. So the three experiments are the expansion of solids when heated, the expansion of liquids when heated, and the expansion of gases when heated. And for each of them, you must also show that they contract when cooled. So we've got three different experiments. Uh, I have arranged them such that there's four sets of each experiment on each pitch. So there's four sets of the expansion of solids, four sets of the expansion of liquids, four sets of the expansion of gas. And if you imagine two people per each experiment, that's eight people on the front bench, eight people on the second, eight people on the back bench, so that's 24 students involved in carrying out the experiment. Okay? What we're going to do is it's going to take about seven or eight minutes per, per experiment, and then we just rotate at the end of it. So we we'll introduce. Megan, you're okay to just stay out of the way, you're perfect, that's all right. Couple of precautions, everybody needs lab coats, everybody needs goggles. As a teacher, I should have one of these in my pocket, which is Burmese or whatever, it's a spray for burns. Because you never know who's going to get burnt and who's going to do something silly. So a couple of precautions, I should always have this in my pocket, you should always have the goggles on. Anytime you want to cool something down, you need to put it into water, rather than using glass which might crack if you've got a, a basin of some description here with water in it, and you can just put your instrument in here and it'll cool down. There should never be more than one person here at any one stage because if there's two or three people here, you'll inadvertently touch out somebody else. Somebody loses a finger, somebody loses an eye. There's a lot of paperwork on my part. So please don't do any fingers or eyes. Uh, what else did I want to say? I think as I think of other precautions, we'll, we'll think of them as we, go, as we go through them, okay? Only one person cooling down at any one stage. You shouldn't be walking around. And the big thing is, you should never leave something hot on the bench because it looks the same as something cold. There's no way of telling. The only way to tell is when you pick it up and you've got a big burn mark on your hand for the rest of your life. Okay? It's an interesting story to tell your kids, but it's a lot of paperwork for me and I don't want to worry about it. We start off with the expansion of solids. For the expansion of solids, we have what? Two pieces of equipment? A ball and ring. So we want to show that the ball fits through it when it's cold. We then heat up the ring and what should happen? It should expand. So we've got four different balls which have been heated up here. Uh, Keen, do you want to do the demonstration? Will it fit through now, do you think? Uh, no. Let's go through it. It doesn't fit through. And how are you going to get, get it fitting through? I throw it in. Okay. So it's not fitting through it, but it's hot. We pull it down. And it fits through and cool. So if you're writing up this experiment, it's not just to show that solids expand when heated. It's to show that they expand when heated and they contract when cooled. So to begin with, you say it doesn't go through. You heat it up. Sorry, to begin with, it goes through. You heat it up, then it doesn't go through, and then you cool it down, and then you find it doesn't go through. You cool it down, it does go through again for the last time. Okay? In terms of the molecules, if you look at this, if you were able to bring yourself down to the size of an atom and look at what's happening in here, what do you see? You'll see molecules. What are the molecules? Multiplying. Okay. Well, are they multiplying? Do you have more molecules afterwards than before? So how would they look different? When it heats up, how do the molecules look different? They're moving. They're moving much, much more. So I have a little model of that here somewhere. That's the one I'm looking for. So if you look at a metal or any crystal, it's like this. And even when it's cold, the molecules, Peter, are still vibrating like that. As you heat it up, what's going to happen to these guys? They vibrate faster. Anything else? Does, does each one of these guys get bigger? So they all stay the same size, but they start taking up more space. And as a result, it's getting bigger. You can't see something getting bigger because the difference is so slight. So what you have to do is a test on it, and that's why you've got the bottom in. While we've got that there, again, all of this will be done in five minutes, and somebody else uses one of these guys. What are these called? Remember we said it was two metals? Oh, metal, oh, bimetal. Bimetal, bimetallic strip, a bimetallic strip. So what happens when you heat the bimetallic strip? We want to do it over here, test it over here. The one on top end and the one on the bottom. Why will the one on the top end? That's perfect, keep it there. Why does it bend? Well, uh, okay, it's a different metal. Why does it bend a different metal? Can you get that, Millie? Yeah. You can see it bending? Yeah. Why is it bending just because it's a different metal? 
Because they expand at different, different rates. What? expand at different rates? Because they're models. two different metals. Very good. You have two different metals trying to expand at different rates, and as a result, it spins. It's called a bimetallic strip. Okay? You're going to hold that there just where you are, and we're going to go to the second row. I, I should say, no, you can leave the camera there if you can. Uh, I should say that all of this can get stored in one tray. Can you focus on the tray there, Mini? So when everything is cool, it gets put back into one tray for the expansion of the solids experiment. Is that okay? We then come on to the expansion of liquid tray. 